Hello YouTube, welcome to the first episode of Basic Review TV. Today I'm going to talk about Low Pro Fastback 250. I tried to find a few things that I needed to know before I purchased this bag uh, on YouTube but I couldn't find it so I decided to make my own video. Hopefully you will uh, learn a few things about this bag. Before I purchased this I was debating if I should buy Low Pro uh, Fastback 250 or 350 there is also slingshot uh, 202 and slingshot 302 those are the new versions but uh, finally I went with first bag 250 let me show you why I chose this bag um, first of all I wanted to get something which will carry my laptop too but I wasn't sure if it is gonna fit so I'm gonna show you how my camera and laptop fits in this uh, bag First, let me show you my um, laptop, how um, it goes inside. Uh, this is a 16.4 um, inch laptop, so you can see this, um, and um, here is the first pack compartment for laptop. Um, I was able to fit it. As you can see this holds a 16.4 inch laptop and then you can there is still actually space I had a hard time putting it in you can still see that this fits a 16.4 inch laptop and um, especially I wanted to take it in, in travel uh, with my camera so if you have a smaller laptop which is 15.4 uh, inch then it's definitely gonna fit this is a bigger laptop um, anyway um, that's the laptop compartment now um, I wanted to show that how it fits my um, camera that is Canon 60D with a um, battery grip on it and a 18 to 200 millimeter lens so here yeah, as you can see that it perfectly fits in there still have a lot of space left um, I have my camera here with battery grip on it and the lens mounted and there is a uh, lens hood also mounted on this so um, I can keep in here and there is still space left of course the battery grip with battery grip you can still close this <coughs> all the way and carry it with you. Now um, you cannot do it in 202, slingshot 202 because uh, that is too small and not uh, that much de deep as this one. That's why I didn't go to um, uh, slingshot. Now I'm going to show you how this works when you are uh, hanging it on your shoulder and uh, how easy it is to uh, bring out the camera. So when you are um, uh, traveling and then here you can see I can easily bring out this camera with my battery grip on and also put it back in there with battery grip. So there is no problem, enough space to um, close it and also open it with this camera on it. Uh, the other thing I want to show is that this doesn't have a place to um, hang or carry the uh, tripod. So what I did is uh, I actually borrowed the idea from another YouTuber uh, who actually showed it on his video so I just want to show you this too. You can there is a mesh pocket on the side for stuff. You can put your tripod here and then here is a uh, belt, um, clip-on belt that you can see. I bought it from a um, dollar store, um, you say doggy belt, but this works. Um, you can just take this belt around your uh, strap, holding strap, and then just put it around this tripod and it's not going anywhere. So I mean, I'll show you when I'm putting it on. 
Yeah. So we're going anywhere. But I'm not going to tell you about the specifications uh, for this bag is because everything is online and you can find out uh, in other videos or go to Lowepro website. But uh, I want to tell you that this is a weatherproof um, uh, material, but uh, it didn't come with the uh, installed uh, cover that is on slingshot. I don't know how much you will need it, but if you really need to protect your bag um, when you're hiking or outside, um, I would suggest that you can buy a, a rain cover for this. You can buy it on eBay. eBay, um, I saw them like for being under 10 bucks. Um, those are pretty good, so you can have it anywhere in the pocket, and then you can just buy it. Uh, just to show you, the space here is really big actually uh, on this first pack. Uh, I uh, don't have much gear yet, uh, but here are the few things that I have. Some uh, my flash with the diffuser and uh, what I can see diffusers. Um, this is a pretty big space. You can put a lot of put a lot of stuff in here. So uh, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to post it. I will try to reply as soon as possible. And here you go. This is your basic review TV. Thank you.